Hello everyone and welcome back to another Saint Spotlight. This time we are honoring a woman with quite an eventful life. We are talking about Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini. So Francis was born in Italy in 1850 and as a child always just had a heart for missionary work. She used to make these tiny little paper boats and would put flowers in them that she called missionaries and she would take her little missionaries with these boats and would set them off to sail in India and China. She always had this dream to go and do some missionary work in the East. And that desire only grew while she studied with the Daughters of the Sacred Heart. And when the time came when she graduated and she wanted to enter into this order, they actually didn't permit her to enter because of her poor health. So instead, with seven women, she founded the Institute of the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in 1880. As her work grew, she went to the Pope and she asked if she could go to China to continue her missionary work there. She wanted to fulfill this lifelong dream that she had to go out to the East. Instead, he sent her West and he asked her go to go to the United States, specifically New York City, to help with the flux of Italian immigrants that had moved there and were living in poverty. So off to the US she went. She moved there in 1889, went West, and over the course of those years, until her death in 1917, fun fact, it was actually in the state of Illinois, in downtown Chicago, she wound up establishing 67 institutions of various schools, hospitals, and orphanages all across the world. So this is a pretty short summary of her life, um, but you can tell that Frances's whole life was really just about trusting God's will, even when things didn't go the way she anticipated them to. Frances never really had a bad plan for her life, being a missionary off in China is not a bad plan. Um, and so Frances could have seen her whole life as one where the cards were constantly stacked against her and where the path was incredibly foggy. But man, did she make the most out of her situations and found there was to be something better than her plan. And ultimately, that was God's. When she wanted to join one religious order, for example, and was denied, she just instead founded another. And when she wanted to go to China, she instead impacted thousands of Italian immigrants in the United States and worldwide. And even in the beginning stages of her time in the U.S. when she was setting up these hospitals and orphanages, she was met with large opposition and a large lack of support. However, Frances was an example of someone who took the unexpected turns out of life and really just made the most of it. Her will for her life was very much centered around what God wanted for her instead of what she wanted for herself. So when we think of our lives and we think of those minor things that tend to inconvenience us, we have a tendency to see it as the world or God fighting against us. Many times it's the circumstances of another that lead to this situation of misfortune. For example, for Francis, it was this religious order that didn't permit her to enter. Um, a lot of times it's also just God having something much greater planned for you. But I encourage you today to look at your life in the eyes of what you think that God may have planned instead of what you may be clinging to. And a lot of the times we really can't anticipate what God has planned, so I encourage you to just keep an open mind for that today. And a little fun fact to leave you with, Frances is informally recognized as someone to ask for intercessions in finding a parking space. So next time you're looking for a parking space, pray for the intercession of St. Francis. I mean, because talk about the inconveniences of life, it's finding a parking space. So I encourage you to think about those things today, and we'll see you next time.